my picture taken, you get your picture <laughs> taken. Hi, patient. How are you? Good. Good. Um, for this one, again, remember we're saying that this patient's going to be a right side hemiplegia, and we're talking about how to get down to the mat before we do the mat activities. So you can get from wheelchair to mat. So. My name is BJ Simmons. I'm going to be working with you today, and uh, our goal is to get you down on the mat to start some exercises, because pretty soon we're going to get you up walking um, and doing some things in the parallel bars, so we can start that strengthening here. Okay. I'm going to put this gate belt on you so that I can help you as you're doing your activities. Okay, so you have weakness on your right side, so your left side is going to be really helpful to you as we're going through this whole process. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get the foot rests out of the way, so you can get it right there and get that flag and push it up. Swap that to the side. Same thing in the middle there. Okay, just go ahead and lean back for a second while I talk you through this. What we're going to be doing is to get down to the mat. Um, I'm going to have you in a minute. You're going to move your feet forward. I'm going to have you cross your legs, and I'll show you how to do that. Then you're going to scoot your bottom forward, turn so that your tummy is on the chair, and then you're going to go down onto the mat. And I'm going to have you just kind of sit to one side. That's a lot to understand, so I'm going to do that. Kind of, I'll talk you through it as we go. Okay? But basically, you look like you're leaning forward, turning over to get onto your tummy, and then going down. Okay, so first thing I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you slide your hips forward. Okay, use your strong leg to help your weak leg kind of go up to the front. Now, when we turn or when I have you turn, you're going to be turning in this direction. So this is good right now. This leg needs to be on top so that it'll kind of turn with you as you go rather than kind of lagging back behind. Okay, so that looks pretty good right now. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start turning. Make sure you kind of keep track of where your hand is here. Um, it's not going to be real helpful as far as pushing, but you also want to make sure that it doesn't get caught anywhere along the way. Okay, so your right or your left hand is going to be the one that's going to kind of take your weight. Um, so first thing we'll do is we'll turn until you get your tummy kind of resting down under the seat of the wheelchair. Okay, go ahead and start turning at your pace here. Beautiful. Okay, kind of get yourself evened up here. You can use your strong leg there to kind of get underneath you a little bit better. Okay, oops, kind of keep those knees up a little further. Okay, and then um, this is your strong side. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring yourself back until your bottom kind of sits down. There you go. Good. And then you can put your hand down on the mat to support yourself. Okay? Alrighty. And then I would make sure she was supported. If she wasn't supported, I would lie her down before I left her over. Okay, to get back up. She's in a pretty good position right here. Um, again, I'm going to make sure that the wheelchair is in a good position, casters are forward, wheels are locked. Okay. To get back up, her knees need to be right in front of the seat again. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty hard with one hand, you have to use a lot of momentum. That lower leg though can kind of help with a little bit of hip motion in there too for getting up. Um, but she's going to need a little bit of momentum in order to get up. Okay, so for getting back up, let me kind of talk you through it. You're going to get up and kind of let your tummy rest here so that you can reposition your hand. And then you can use your leg to push a little bit. So, oops. When you're in this position, you're going to use your hand and kind of lift up and turn yourself around and then work the rest of the way. Okay? So, let's see. Let me do it here. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. So, on three, you're going to kind of get some momentum going. Your hand can be up here wherever you feel it's going to be best for you, but eventually it needs to be up here in order to kind of support yourself there. You ready? On three. One, two, here we go. Three. Good job. Okay, rest your belly right on there. Okay, when we go up, this hip is the one that needs to go down into the seat. Okay, so when you're ready, you can kind of um, push with this leg a little bit and push with your left hand. So if you need to bend that knee up, that helps. Some patients like to bend their knee up in like a, a Partially flexed position, others just like to straighten it out. Whatever works for you. When you're ready, go ahead. Do it. Beautiful. Okay. So 
I'm, again, letting her choose where her hand placements are. Um, I'm kind of adjusting around as she's moving. Okay, um, the second way we're going to do this is we're going to have you stand up, and then you're going to put your, okay, go ahead and just kind of uncross your legs here over here. Steady position. Okay, this is your strong side. So you're going to stand up, you're going to turn, kind of a quarter turn so that your strong side is toward the wheelchair. You can hang on to the armrest. And then what you're going to do is you're going to um, use your strong leg to lower yourself down onto the other leg. Now some patients will need to take a step forward. Some patients will have enough hip extension that they can kind of move that other leg back. So if they can't move that leg back, then they'll step forward with their stronger leg. Okay? In order to lower themselves down onto the weak leg. Okay? So you may want to start that way a little bit when you stand up. Give yourself room. Okay, I want you down into the half kneeling position. You put the other knee down and then you'll um, side sit with your hips going that direction. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to stand up first. Good. Okay. And then what you're going to do is lower down onto this knee. Okay, so use your strong leg. Lower yourself down. Good. Other leg down. So that way she has the, the wheelchair there in order to help kind of support herself as she goes. Okay, uh, we're just going to come up here for a minute. So then we would have done any of our exercises, all that, to get back into the wheelchair. Okay, again, make sure it's in a good position. Okay, um, <clears throat> to get back up then, what you're going to do is you're going to come close to the wheelchair. Uh, you're going to get up onto both knees, and then it's kind of difficult, but you're going to push with your strong leg in order to kind of boost your hip up into the, the seat there, okay? okay? Your strong arm can help, your strong leg can help, but all you need to get up there first is your hip, okay? So let me think, that's your strong side. So go ahead and kind of get yourself up there close first. Okay, bring this knee up a little closer, then you don't have to go quite so far. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Good job. Okay. And then she's going to need to like straighten up this leg in order to push up. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. Good job. And then she can adjust in there. So that's, that can be really hard for the patient to do that, to figure out the logistics of it, especially if they have some cognition issues going on as well. Okay, but it can be done. Okay. The third way, again, is not your first choice, but it is a way that can be done with um, patients with stroke or with some kind of a um, hemiplegia. This time I'm going to have you put both feet way back behind you. You can use your strong leg to help your weak leg go back. Good. And then uncross. Good. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to lean back in the chair, which will make your hips go forward. You're going to keep leaning back and let your bottom kind of slide down until your knees touch the mat. Then you're going to use this hand, once you're supported there, you use this hand to reach down for the mat and side sit onto your strong side. Okay. okay. So she's going to be coming this way, so I'm going to stay on this side, even though that's her weak side. She's going to be side sitting toward this side. Okay, so lean back. Okay. And then kind of keep scooching until your bottom slides off. Good. Okay, and then when you're ready, let your bottom hip kind of sit right down under your feet. And then side sit. Good job. Okay, you can't reverse that one. You have to get back up the way we did for the second one there. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Okay.